weird. It did say residences, but this is still... I still somehow expected something other than residences, because this is strange. It's a handwritten letter from May 5th, 1971. I thought being a nanny would be more comfortable than working in the offices, especially if I'm taking care of a dumb girl. But I'm going to have to give up for the sake of my mental health. There's another page. I understand the stress the family's going through and that it's a bad time to leave my position, but that witch has not stopped crying in the... Metaphorical witch, or, uh... In the last three days, and her crying gives me goosebumps. I'll make an offering, whatever. Again, I don't know what it does, but... And it's, uh, spooky. It's actually quite spooky. I'm wondering if it maybe gives me a short time of invulnerability or something. That would kind of make sense. Wait. Is that... Oh, I can't stay here right now? That, I think that's that guy. I think that's the guy from the beginning. I have to leave and go to... Initiation test. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, this is like floor two or something. I haven't been here, but I know... I remember because it tells you what all the floors are. I'm pretty sure it's like floor two. Initiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was that guy from the beginning who said he was all, like, hot shit and then went to floor two. Oh, is that Kate? Kate, are you alright? Oh, hi, Brian. I was getting some air. I feel a little dizzy. Wait, come to me. Come with me to the fifth floor. It's safer. Is she allowed to do that? I don't think she's allowed to do that. I don't think she's high enough quality of a worker to do that. How are you feeling? I'm doing much better. Thank you, Brian. I breathed in some of that green gas, but it's nothing, really. I'm sorry if it's none of my business, but why'd you go into such a dangerous place? I got a call from my boss telling me that I had to take some photocopies there. I thought I could do it by holding my breath, but when I realized I was starting to get dizzy... Your boss? Hmm. Did he say his name? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Why'd you ask? It's nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. The important thing is that you're okay. Boo-hoo. Is, is something wrong? Nothing. It's just that... I can't believe I left my work unfinished! What do you- what? What? I'm incompetent, Brian! I'm not up to the level of this job! Kate, don't say that. I'm worthless! I should have prepared a lot more and- Kate! Stop for a second, please, listen to me! It's not your fault. No buts, Kate. This company is sick, and it has nothing to do with you. It's been like this for years. It's a bit of a weird company, but what do you mean it's sick? Well, don't, don't fucking tell her about the witch. You're about to do it, you fucking dolt. Don't do it. There's something very bad that's corrupting everything and everyone. I don't think I understand you. Well, well, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Don't do it. She's, don't, don't do it. <laughs> She might be the witch. She she could be the witch or a children a child of the witch. She might not even know it. Don't do it. Yes. Let's get out of here. What? Let's quit this damn job. Okay, now that that is a better option. Let's run away together. <laughs> but Brian, you already know that I'm just a village boy and maybe I'm not very cool or fashionable once you put me in the capital. But I assure you of one thing. There's got to be something better than this for both of us. Especially for you, Kate, with all the studying you've done. Tell you the truth, I had a dozen offers in addition to Centricorp. Maybe it's not such a bad idea. Of course! So let's have that copy you, copy, coffee you promised me, but outside this madhouse. You know what? You're absolutely right. We don't have to put up with all these freaks. We deserve a better place than this. Let's go get that coffee. Okay, great. Parsnip! I'm going on break. <laughs> bravo, Parsnip, bravo! I knew that deep down in that flaccid, bent body there was a real man. A Spartan warrior. A conquistador. What, uh, we, what? The poisonous stench, that green gas that flooded part of the building. The whole company is talking about the same thing. How a, the fifth, fifth floor rookie confronted the dot matrix and put an end to that nasty pestilence. Ah, oh, well, uh, is that true? No, I just, uh... Don't be so modest, Parsnip!
You must know I've appointed you employee of the month as of today. Oh, Hugo had that before, I think, so that's pretty bad. Forgive my terrible manners, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Uh, th thanks, but no no thanks. Sacre Blue! We're leaving the company right now. Ah, you are a first rank prankster, Parsnip. Leave your first job on the first day? With how difficult it is to find work in the capital. Such an in in indelible blot on your resume. It'd be like wearing shit on your face for the rest of your life! Oh. <laughs> Dada asked me to tell you that he does not overlook your progre progress with the task entrusted to you. You're a model employee. Keep it up, Parsnip. Mm. Don't listen to that guy. He's out of his mind. Come on, shall we go? Hold on, Brian. He's got a point. Who, that fool? Leaving on the first day of work would be a mark against us for the rest of our lives. Not to mention that we don't have... We have left one of the best companies in the world. But Kate, it's too dangerous to stay. You saw for yourself. You're a good partner, Brian. But I know you'd do, you do it for me. Or I, and I know you'd do it for me. But I have to prove myself that I can also be employee of the month. Well, who fucking cares? <laughs> no, 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 I'm a hillbilly, Kate. Really, let's get out of this place. I'll make you a deal. We think about it until the end of the day, and then we decide. And hey, we can still get that coffee, right? What do you say we meet in the canteen later? Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> Who just snickered at me? Who fucking did it? Who? Hey, it's me. Hey, that's kind of cool. Now I'm employee of the month. Now I'm employee of the month. Nice. Let's go save. I think Hugo might kill me. I, I think Hugo might get really pissed at that. He, he strikes me as the kind of guy who takes Employee of the Month really seriously. And he prob yeah, mm -hmm, spooky music and Hugo... Oh, look who's deigning to stop by his op office. Hugo, I want to talk to you. I have nothing to talk to you about, Mr. Employee of the Month. I knew it. Did I call it or did I call it? Hey, but... Okay, well, we lived. Is that the girl? Did the girl just do that? Oh. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I still like that we're photoing, photocopying our souls. Cup of coffee. I will just give me one more, more coffee. The walls are laughing again. That's pretty normal, yeah. What are you gonna do? Sometimes you just go fucking crazy. We didn't look around here with a flashlight before, but I don't think there's much to see. Yeah. Uh. What was my mission again? What was I trying to accomplish? I think I heard a laugh around here somewhere. Oh, the closet. Boo! So, so, what are you doing in there? <laughs> Is he gone yet? Hugo? Yeah, he just left. Oh, he's pissed at you! You're my hero, Pasternak. No, so, so, I, I'm not a hero. I don't want to be. Pardon me, I didn't... Are you stressed out? I can do acupuncture. No, well, I don't know. Maybe I'm stressed out. I just can't take it anymore. I want to leave, Sosa. This place is a nightmare. Why don't people leave? Why don't we all leave? Because we can't. What do you mean? We're trapped. Her power is so great that without realizing it, you were under her influence from the very moment you entered the building. The more you get involved, the more time you spend working, the more you use those cursed papers. It's sucking you... No way. Are there going to be multiple endings based on how many times you saved? Shit. That's probably what it is, right? That's got... Ah, that's fucked. 
that's gotta be it. So, like, if you save, like, once or twice, you get the good ending. But, like, I saved too many times. <laughs> Sorry. No more saving for you. Honestly, I'd prefer to get through this game and not have to redo a bunch of shit. Too late now, gotta go balls deep. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think probably it's too late to get the best ending if it is determined by that. And, like, you saw that time we died and we had to go back all that way because of the save. I'd rather just avoid that and finish the game, because I have no I have no indication that there are multiple endings, but I would not at all be surprised. It's sucking you further and further in. What are you telling me? Is there no way out of here? Are we locked in this nightmare for life? A lot of people jump from the rooftop. <laughs> like 9-11. But there is a much better solution. The definitive solution. Kill her. But you already knew that, didn't you? What, uh, what, what do you mean? I, uh... Mappy told me she saw you looking for that old book in the archives. Huh? Uh, well, I uh, got lost. I've seen you use those papers from her to photocopy your soul. You've been wandering around the building since you got here. And now the poison. Like, I wonder if we didn't photocopy our soul ever. What would she say? You're a hunter, Pasternak. What? What? Hunting me? What? <laughs> no. Hunter for what? So if you're not a hunter, remind me again what your job is in this company. Uh, it was, oh. It was none of these, right? I think you have to photocopy your soul once when it introduces you to the mechanic. Probably. Second option. That's what I thought. I thought it was manager of something. It was either that, or I chose... If it wasn't manager, it was like the prosecutor one, which isn't on here. That's what the robo-girl said. Yeah, but I think it's what I told her. I think the thing I told her isn't even on here. So she's gonna call me out. I know it's not the top one. I don't think it's the, sec the third one, but that one also has manager in it. But I don't even know if it was manager, I think it was the prosecutor one, so I think it doesn't matter. That's curious. You told me before, your job was... I knew it. See, it was it was not even an option. Prosecution of numerical similarities. Oh, yes, of course. That, that's my secondary job. Foof. <laughs> okay, I'm a hunt. Don't why would you admit to it? Why would you why would you admit to it? Why it like just because someone's caught you in a lie doesn't mean you have to admit to it. Like if you've been given strict orders, do not tell anyone about this. You don't then like like, could you imagine some, like, spy for, like, you know, for the United States infiltrates some, like, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say, like, some U.S. spy is infiltrating some, like, Middle Eastern country, and they, they, they're like, why are you in, why are you in the Middle East again? Oh, I'm, I'm in, uh, I'm, I'm in the oil business. It's like, oh, I thought you said you were just, like, a traveler. And it's like, you got me, I'm a spy! <laughs> Like, no, you just say, like, oh, what, you know, I deny everything. <laughs> At least I've been hired to do that. But I don't really... Why? So sorry. Are you alright? I finally found him! You're scaring me. Are, are you the... I'm the number one hunter fan! Tell me everything. Oh, well, could have gone worse. <laughs> are you an esoteric magician or a necromancer? N no no <laughs> can we do an interview from video club mysterio hey wait wait you can't tell anyone of course how silly the most important thing is to work incognito will you let me be your assistant oh, okay this might be working out all right <sighs> what no it's super dangerous for now if you don't tell anyone that's enough okay no one, no one? No one. Not even Mappy? She's my only friend. <laughs> well, you can tell Mappy. Well, you're fucking... How does he not see the problem with this? <laughs> Hex Maniac is top tier waifu. Hex Maniac's pretty good, and this is basically thin t Hex Maniac. A little weirder looking. Thank you, Pasternak. And you can rest easy. Nobody speaks to us. Well, that makes sense. What do you know about the witch hunters now that this is out in the open? 
They're almost like a legend in the company. Something from many years ago. This company was created by the, Shit the Shitra family, who lived in the same building. They wanted to put an end to her, so they set in motion a plan to hire the- The fucking witch has been around for s that long? I are the best arcane experts in the world. And none of these professionals could kill her? Obviously not, Pasternak. They were very close, though. It is said that they were- There were three who almost succeeded. Nazari, Moeta, and... Corvo. And then what happened? It's a mystery! All three of them disappeared. Take a look at this, Sosa. Corvo. It can't be! Where'd you get this? It was on a dead body on the second floor. Years ago, hunters received these special metallic metal cards. Pasternak, this is our Corvo's ID card. Was he important? He just, you just told me about that. He's the most important one of all. He was a bo boker. A voodoo master. An expert in black magic. I've got shivers. Aren't you gonna try it? Try it. These ID cards work with the old computers. Ooh. Let's go into a new fucking cyberverse. What? Oh, I gotta use the card. I gotta use it, like, more manually. Sintra? Well, I guess let's talk to Sintra first. Uh, probably this way. No? Okay. At least it's easy to see where the wall is. I can't- without the flashlight, it was fucking impossible. I guess she's probably up in the information. Mappy saw you fighting living minds in the archives, so... Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I mean, you don't just admit to that shit. Internal report. Project Cornucopia. Here, wait, let's read these in order. I didn't realize there was fucking lore, right, uh, laying around. Uh, Project Cornucopia, April 14th, 1971. Backup copy updated. Observations. The subject does not seem to suffer or remember anything from the procedure. Future experiments could study whether we can modify one of these copies and integrate one into part of our network. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, is this the same? Oh, is it all the same? This is all one report? Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. There's no reason. Is this all one report? What about this? Different books lying on the floor. These aren't important? Okay. I don't know what Project Cornucopia is, but... Empty painting. The Devil's Blood. That was on the ninth floor. I don't remember... I don't think it, there was anything we could do with it, but there was... in. It was like in remembrance of the Devil's Blood on the ninth floor. The room we couldn't go into, but we checked like towards the beginning. Cyber pussy best pussy. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Nice thing about Cyber Pussy, she starts fucking nagging you, you just log off, you know what I'm saying? Right, boys? <laughs> ah, women. Can't live with them? Where the fuck is she? Is she not here? I don't see her anywhere. I guess we need to go into the alternate world, and that's just how they make us do it. Let's go. Let's see what happens if I use R. Corvo's ID instead of mine. Well, you can live with them. <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> What's going on here? Corrupted space. Ooh. 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 Oh! Why is there... Oh. Oh, it's harmless. Oh, okay. Hello? Well, ope that yo er work here will prossing. Come to Sintra Orp, Mr. Corvo. I, <laughs> purus, productive, and last... Yeah, sure. What a babe. Uh, yeah, bye, I guess. <laughs> Fuck! Bell, 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 1087. I'm sure that's useful for something. And it better be, because that noise is... I don't like it. Oh, oh, another email? Why is it not going away? Her influence topic, we can't communicate infiltrated the system 
any more in this way. Can't communicate any more in this way. Okay. So the witch is in the system. Which makes me think that maybe that's what Sintra is. Plot twist. The plot twist you've seen coming the entire time. I actually don't think that's what it's going to be, but it might. Is that it? Should I just leave? Oh, here we go. All missable, the rope... I love my office. Move my office as soon as possible. Bot has the key. Or something else has the key, but probably Bot has the key. Should I just leave now? Uh, okay. Bot has the key, and then when I ran into the bot, it gave me a code. Beep, 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 1087. Now I have a suspicion. I mean, I assume that's a code for something I just need to open up. And I'm curious about this devil's door thing that was just mentioned. I think it needs a key, a key code, right? Oh, no. No, the code was introduce yourself as a man of wealth and taste. Um, well, then where the fuck do I need to go? 10, take, I have a wild guess. 1087. What? What's something you could input those numbers into? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I could go to those floors. I don't think that's it. I could... I figured there was some sort of key code that I had missed before, and I'm trying to remember where it was. I thought it might have been here. Mm, 1087. 1087. I mean, do you think if I put him into the fucking elevator, something will happen? I guess that's that's perfectly possible. I go one, then zero, then then uh, eight, then seven. And then it takes me to the fucking secret floor. Oh! Beep, beep, beep! I think this might actually be it! Why did the third beep not happen? Excuse me, I need three beeps. Excuse me. I mean, the first one kind of beeped three times. Maybe that's good enough. I'll reset this. Well, it gives me two beeps. And it's more than three beeps. It's beep, 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 beep. Let's just beep and then try it. Maybe it'll unlock floor six. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try doing it three times, even though the third time it doesn't actually make a noise. Nice! Dude, I like the puzzle in this game. The ceiling's much lower than normal. What floor am I on? Six and a half or something? Hunter. Uh, I walked right into it. I don't know why. I just was like, I didn't expect it at all. I, d I, did, not ex I did not expect to be running into those right now. I have one pencil. Device next to it looks like a card reader. Oh, well, that's simple enough. Ooh. The key. I don't know what to. There's a letter. It says, I know you're usually guided by intuition, but at this critical time, I would trust no one but yourself. Remember what I told you about her familiar spirits. Signed, E.N. I believe that was one of the other... Uh, one of the other important people. One of those three. There's a letter. Great news, you tell me, dear friend. 
Now that we know where she's hiding and we have the dagger in our possession, it's only a matter of time before we can break the seal on the secret entrance. Signed, A.M. There's a gold key hanging on the wall. As an inscription, Family Cemetery. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we should go there, actually. This, is, this seems to me kind of like a Chrono Trigger situation, where, like, I can go fight the final boss now, but I shouldn't. <laughs> like, I really shouldn't. Uh, too bad I still can't go to floor 6. Let's save back on floor 5. And then I guess let's go check it out. Let's go to the cemetery, but... It really seems like... I'm not gonna look to the left of the elevator. It looks like it was blocked off. I can check, but... Oh, what am I doing? I, it, I really think we should not go to this boss. It, it seems like a bad idea. But, hey, we saved. Whatever. We've already lost our soul to the photocopier. We could also go down to floor one, the canteen. I don't think there was anything on the left of the photocopier, though, was there? At least it's pretty easy to do this. Looks like the elevator went up, by the way. I don't know if that's useful information. Maybe that's why it's floor six, but... Oh, you're right. Why the fuck did I not go over here? I just assumed it was blocked off. I don't know why the fuck I didn't do this. That's fucking $30 over there. Apps pocket change. Not really worth my time, but it was there. Just free for the taking. Do I have a... Yeah. Um, We could go to the canteen first. But, let's check out, let's check this out. What was it, five, eight, eight? Is eight the library? No, it's eight. Yeah, yeah, it's eight. All right, I think this is a bad idea. I think it's a really, really, really bad idea. It seems almost obvious that it's a really bad idea. I know I'm going to regret this. I, yeah, me too. Do you see that the owl is there, by the way? Do you see that the, the owl has returned? That's spooky. Don't be a bitch. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I've seen that owl before. Doesn't Corvo mean owl in some language? Or like have something to do with an owl? I wonder if he turned into an owl. Two must belong to the Sintra family, but I don't recognize the name. Well, what is the name, you fucking... Come on. Don't recognize the name. Well, can you read the name for me? Fountain filled with stagnant water. Taking a look around, even though I clearly know where I need to go. Yeah, right right in there. Yes, I think it was something Latin. Yeah, right? That's what I thought. Corvo means like owl. I think I, I was thinking Latin too, so that owl is Corvo, I can I can guess. Pretty yeah. It might mean Raven. Oh. Oh, that might be it. I don't know. The door's locked. There's something under here. Oh. 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 I need the owl's eye. Unless I can put a fucking glow stick in there. Or pry that out with a screwdriver. Yeah. I need to, uh, kill the owl. But the owl flew away. I wonder if I do need to come back here now. Oh, there's the owl right there. Hey. Hey! Hey, fucker, get back here. Hey! How do I attack this thing? Pencil? I don't have pencils. No light. Walk with no light. Pretty sure I'll see pretty well in the dark. You fuck. How do I do this? <clears throat> Sleeping pills. That's a good fucking idea, actually. But what does an owl eat? How do I force sleeping pills down his throat? 
in the water? I don't think you would even drink this water. Maybe if I dilute some of these insomnia pills. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now I just scare the owl over there. Okay, interesting. Works for me. Go get some water, Mr. Owl, so that I can fucking carve your eye out. Nice. He's sleeping like a log. Now that I see it up close, one of his eyes looks like glass. Should I take it out? Yeah, fucking grab it. I'm sorry, Mr. Owl. Oh, he looks fine, actually. That Simple. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Oh, that's the kid who died. Oh, no, that's the kid. Yeah, okay. To the love of our life, Ray Sintra, 61 to 72. There don't seem to be any leads around here. Alright then. Although, I could try to move the tomb lid. Oh my goodness, what am I thinking? Desecrating graves on my first day at work? Do I open the lid? Ah, uh, you think I'm coming all the way here not to do some fucking tomb raiding? Not to fight the final boss? I'll open it just a little bit so I can look around and then close it. It's empty! No body! Something's shining down there. Uh, bells. Oh, bells were mentioned before, right? No, I'm thinking of ring, ring, ring. They belong to the child? Ooh, the other child, right? Didn't the other child have bells on her? I think I should go back to my office as soon as possible and tell Sintra what's going on. I agree. Alright, I'm out. I guess there wasn't the final boss here. Unless it happens now. Nope. Brian achieves in one day what three masters failed in years. <laughs> hey, what can I say? I'm just that good. Oh, uh, hi again. Pasternak, what a coincidence. I was just going to the canteen. We need to lend a hand with the birthday preparations. What birthday? I... Hugo's birthday. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I have to get back to my office. But everyone's in the canteen. Aren't you gonna help? I can't. I have to get- just tell them that, like, I'll be, like, ten seconds. I gotta go take a shit. What's your hurry? Because, like, the, the wash closet, <laughs> as they called it, is on the fucking eighth floor anyway. Or the, the fifth floor. Even this cute new- even that cute new girl from the hive is there. Kate? I don't know her name, honey. <laughs> or, I don't know her name, honey. <laughs> but she's been asking about you. But if you're busy... Foof. <laughs> well, okay. I like foof. I'll be right over. But just for a little while. Look who brought himself- I like this song. It's a good one. Look who brought himself the help. The parsnip himself. Can I leave? Hmm. <laughs> it's a weight with a hook on it. Oh, okay. Oh, do I have to go blow up balloons? Pasternak, have you been kidnapped as well? Yeah, but I can't stay for the birthday. I have to go to the office. Why? You've got some new information about... Exactly. Oh, tell me, tell me. Turns out that the Sintra family had a daughter. Ray Sint... Everybody knows that. Name set... She doesn't, I guess. That girl died, didn't she? That's a good question. I've just been in the family mausoleum and her grave is empty. Witches kidnap kids. Witches kidnap kids to make them into their more witches. There's some lore here. Uh, I think she's the key to figuring out all of this. Desecrating graves means during working hours. Brian, you're my hero. You can count on me. How can I help you? I need to get back to the office. Maybe you could distract Rostov. I'll think of something. Spy stuff. In the meantime, we should pretend like we're still working. Anything in the trash. Dozens of gifts. Hugo seems to have a lot of friends. More like a lot of people who fear him. Which is almost better. Hey. What can I do to help? 
I'm blowing up some balloons. Give me a second, then you can put them up. Hey, it's that guy! Oh, also, it's that chick who wants to bang me. Aren't you supposed to be helping? Okay. You ready to go? Huh? You're about to taste me. Uh, see you later. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> see you later. What are you doing here, Chapman? At this party for peasants, you mean? I have my contacts, Bumpkin. He's like on floor two or some shit. Someone said over the speaker system that I could get off the second floor to go to this party. It didn't seem like a bad idea until I got here. Why are the people working? Where's the cocktails and drugs? It's supposed to be a party, right? The party hasn't started yet. We're preparing it. You know, before you celebrate, you have to work to get everything ready. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm going to devote my efforts to flirting with that sexy redhead. She's been staring at me since I got here. Yeah, right, buddy. I don't know what the fuck she's doing with that dude, but... How brazen. Malone? I, I don't know if... You don't know if what? You're absolutely right. Go for it. I don't need your permission, hick. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Kay. You feeling better now? Oh, yes. I'm quite recovered. Thank you. What are you doing here? Do you get tangled up in it, too? I came to see if we were having that coffee I owed you, and they told me about Hugo's birthday. The coffee, right, I forgot all about it. Fucking ten minutes ago, I forgot. Well, we can have it with a little cake. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I should be in my office. Besides, I don't particularly like Hugo, to be honest. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> don't be like that, Brian. Remember that partnership is very important in a company, especially when it's your office mate. Besides, it's always good to work as a team, don't you think? If you say so. He fucking left me for dead twice. I'm washing some glasses. I'll let you know when I'm done so that you can help me set the table. Yeah, of course. Anyone else to talk to? Let's do a little, let's say a little prayer. I'm done blowing up the balloons. I guess they don't want me to pray. Oh. Oh, it's broken. Right, I forgot that one's broken. Alright. Yeah, hang up the balloons. Place them on the pink pedestals. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> What a, what a, what a fun quest. What an exciting, fun quest. See, it's, it's actually, uh, postmodern. It demonstrates the tedium. Oh. Distraction, please. Oops, oh no! Are you alright, dear? I completely forgot, I left the presents in my office. But they're all there on the table. Right. But it was a special gift, which I brought on my own. Then go get it, quick. Uh, I need help bringing it down because it weighs 400 pounds. Mr. Pasternak, maybe you could help me since you have so many muscles. Yeah, sure, no problem. Wait, I'd better go with you. Pasternak's busy with the balloons. Oh, now that I remember, that gift doesn't exist. Well, you tried. Good, good, good job. Real, real good job. Let's make some food. Uh, I'm hungry. The party can wait until I'm done eating. I need some noodles. A hundred charisma. <laughs> Bluff check failed. <laughs> yeah, more like, like two charisma. Cheese sandwich, hell yes. I don't have enough for another, right? Done with the glasses. Can somebody set them out? Why am I fucking doing all the work? Or do you want these? Put them on the big table while I'm doing the dishes. This, not the bar. The big table? Oh. I feel like a fucking waiter. Oh, can I just do it once? Oh, sweet. Ah, sweet. Okay. Or twice. Dude, what the fuck? You got to one int. <laughs> Brian, is that your first name, Pasternak? Yeah, first names are always used in the suburbs. Mine's Irina. Irina Rostov. How beautiful. I'm Catherine, Catherine Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Marta. Marta Souza. Oh, we're all getting to know each other. We're all friends. I'm Jenna, and I'm a Sagittarius. And what's this? Rural life. 
What's your name, Chapman? Anthony, like my father. In the family, they still call me Tony Jr. Well, I'm... Alright, that's enough. <laughs> You're a fucking minor character. Get out. Hugo's coming and we haven't finished setting up yet. Uh. Uh. Of course she's the kind to tell everyone her star sign. Yeah, it fits pretty well. What do I, wait, wait, wait. What do I still need to set up? Am I to step out for a second? Don't even think about it. Give us a hand here and I'll, or I'll tell Hugo you didn't help on his birthday. I've already fucking helped you, broad... What do I still need to do? Hey. A couple of things I need to get me out of here? I'm thinking. I don't I don't know what actually they, they said. Oh the dishes, got it. A and the sweet food with candles on top? The the cake. That's it. You know so much more about cakes, Pastor Nack. You could go get one, couldn't you? There's no need for that. Everything's under control now. Good good job. She's she's trying. She's trying her fucking hardest. She's just like dumb. She's a little dumb. You didn't hear from me, but she's kinda dumb. You'll have to make the cheese sandwiches, Pastor Neck. Come over here and I'll show you. What? What what? Have you thought of anything? I've analyzed the situation. Our greatest enemy here is Rostov. I'm going to use my social skills to distract her so you can escape. That's a good idea. <laughs> I like this, like, cute little interlude we've got going on here. Of just like, it's been a little too serious. Let's just have, like, a fun little, a fun time. Dear friend and colleague, Rostov. I hear you love eating things. Who told you that? <laughs> Did you, they call me a glutton? No, 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 no. I mean, at the company, your food is famous for being mouth-wateringly delicious. Could you write me the recipe over here for the chicken with fish? Oh, of course. <laughs> it's because I use traditional recipes. Come over here and I'll give you some advice. You're clearly not eating right. I'm out. It's my chance. Oh, I thought that said hug before. Because before it said eat, but no, Hugo. 